Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, theory to practice. In this uh, tutorial we are going to analyze a uh, raft foundation using Plax's uh, 3D. Uh, this is going to be our example uh, in this tutorial. Uh, the raft as you can see in here, uh, the raft foundation dimension is 20 meter by 28 and it supports a number of the column with a different uh, load which is uh, which are a point loads also the center to center spacing between the columns at uh, both direction are uh, shown in the figure so we will uh, have uh, something like uh, this uh, figure uh, we are going to use a large boundary condition to decrease the effect of a boundary condition on the results so we will have uh, 200 uh, meters uh, at y direction and 100 meter at uh, x direction and uh, the soil is one uh, single soil layer which is uh, 30 meter uh, high also we will have the rough foundation and we will have excavation and our uh, rough foundation is one meter located below the ground uh, surface as I will show you in here this AutoCAD file so we have a mud foundation in here and we have excavation uh, one meter excavation also the mud foundation is uh, constructed one meter below the ground surface so uh, as a practical we have to uh, excavate uh, uh, more than the dimension of the mud foundation uh, to uh, uh, to to make it possible for uh, the worker and uh, labor to work in uh, this area that's why we will uh, we will have one meter excavation more uh, uh, from uh, the face of the mud foundation also we will have a sloped excavation after that which is uh, two meter uh, also and the slope of this ex excavation will be uh, two meter horizontal and one meter uh, vertical and the water table is located four meter below the ground surface in uh, this example you can see in here have excavation foundation and column loads we save uh, again uh, we save the project again and i think uh, everything is uh, okay now so we can uh, start uh, the calculation so we click uh, calculate uh, we ignore feedback and calculate because we uh, don't want to uh, select any point for a uh, curve and we will wait until uh, the analysis is being finished uh, after uh, that we can uh, check the calculation results like uh, math foundation displacement and uh, uh, maybe we have a differential settlement also we can check uh, the moment in uh, the mud foundation and this um, uh, moment forces uh, also shear forces can be used uh, for uh, structural engineers to calculate the amount of uh, steel uh, rebars uh, to be placed in the mud foundation Okay, as we can see, the calculation is uh, finished, and we click we click uh, on save project again. We click on uh, view calculation results. So, as we can see in here, this is a deformed shape of uh, the problem, and uh, the maximum displacement is about uh, 0 0.026 which is about 2.5 centimeter and it is acceptable in a uh, case of mud foundation because uh, when we have mud foundation on sandy soil according to some uh, practice uh, codes uh, the settlement until 10 centimeter is acceptable so uh, actually this is not a true uh, scale of uh, the displacement which is uh, 200 uh, times larger than the true scale we can click on view scale true scale 
you can see uh, this is a true scale of uh, the problem we can see this a uh, column load we can see that uh, the column load which has a um, uh, high amount of load uh, the uh, size of uh, the arrow is bigger uh, we can uh, check the displacement contours by clicking on deformation total displacement click on here also we can uh, maybe take a vertical cross section like this one okay we can see this is a displacement contour of uh, the mat foundation this are displacement vectors displacement isobars maybe this is a deformed mesh also we can uh, we can uh, check another thing in here uh, if we select the raft foundation we can see the displacement due to the raft foundation is about uh, 0.01 centimeter because as i said the mat foundation is uh, quite big and it may cause some deformation as well uh, also uh, if you want to see uh, the forces in uh, the foundation we click on here select structure and double click on the plate so and select the loading phase so this is a displacement of uh, for example this uh, displacement in uh, z direction as we can see the most uh, the high displacement or settlement occurred in this region because uh, the amount of load uh, is uh, higher yes because uh, we have the uh, column loads 2000 which is uh, more than uh, in uh, this side we can also check the display uh, the we can check the differential settlement for example if we click on here we can uh, click anywhere for example uh, calculate uh, uh, in uh, here check the displacement in z-direction also in uh, other uh, column center and calculate the differential settlement uh, after that we can see the forces in uh, this foundation so we click on force for example as you can see uh, this is the local coordinates of the foundation if you can uh, if you want to uh, see the moment at uh, around this uh, axis 1 1 we click on force moment m11 so we can see the maximum moment is about uh, minus 640 uh, minus 654 kilonewton meter per meter we can see the maximum uh, the maximum uh, moment as you can see in uh, the red color also we can see the force in uh, the other direction as you can see in here the maximum moment is uh, positive which is uh, 164 also we can check the shear force and uh, in all direction and also we can check uh, the axial forces in both uh, direction okay uh, this was uh, for uh, this example i hope it was clear uh, thank you for watching see you in the next lesson